Hello everyone, welcome to EGDU and today we are going to discuss about IV characteristic which is also known as current voltage graph or current voltage chart. We have this XY coordinate system where the X axis represents voltage and the Y axis represents current. If we increase the voltage in a circuit, the current linearly increase and this is a direct relation between current and voltage. If we are increasing voltage, the current is also increasing. We will explain in detail what are ohmic and non-ohmic semiconductor, what is the slope of an IV characteristic and how to calculate resistance and conductance using IV chart. Here we have uh, in this chart we see that the current is gradually increasing with voltage. Similarly in this case the current is increasing with voltage but this chart looks more steeper than this one and this one looks more flat than this one. Which means this chart have more resistance while in this chart the resistance value is low. Now from Ohm law we know that voltage is equal to IR. Current time resistance is equal to voltage and any semiconductor or conductor which obeys Ohm law is known as ohmic conductor. Now in this case this one and this one is ohmic semiconductor because we see that we see increase in the current is linear with the increase in voltage. Similarly in this case the current is linearly increasing with the increase in voltage. But now here in this chart we can see this is uh, this shows the IV characteristic of a diode or we can say a PN junction. In a PN junction when the voltage reaches a certain value then the current start increasing exponentially which we can say the forward bias current. Similarly in silicon this is 0.7 volt and for germanium 0.3 volt. In a diode when the current in a diode when the voltage reaches 0.7 volt then the current starts flowing. Here the voltage is increasing but there is no increase in the value of current. So this is a non-ohmic semiconductor while these two indicates an ohmic semiconductors. Now what value we can calculate from the slope of this chart? We know that uh, from Ohm law voltage is equal to current time resistance and solving this equation for resistance we will get the value of resistance R is equal to V divided by I. Where conductance is another term which is the reciprocal of resistance. If we substitute the value of R in this equation, R is equal to 1 over G. If we substitute this value in this equation and then we solve, we will get the value of conductance G is equal to I divided by V. Where in the resistance case, it is V divided by I. But here in the conductance case, we get the, uh, we got the value of current divided by voltage. So this is conductance and conductance mean how much current can a circuit or a conductor conduct which is the opposite of resistance. Now here in, here in this chart, uh, in this region where there, where there is no current, uh, the resistance is very high and the conductance in this region is equal to zero. So we have infinite resistance here because there is no flow of current and the, if there is infinite resistance in a region the conductance value will be equal to a zero. So the conductance here is zero but here we see uh, the resistance decreases there is no resistance and the conductance increases exponentially. So when there is conductance the resistance is low it is a reciprocal relation between conductance and resistance. Now from the slope of this chart we can calculate the value of uh, conductance and conductance we know is G is equal to I divided by V change in the current divided by change in voltage. So the slope of this chart is the change in the Y direction divided by the change in the X axis. Now in this chart on the Y axis we have uh, current which is denoted by I and on the X axis we have voltage. Now consider this point 2, 4 where the 2 indicates the uh, voltage and the 4 here indicate the Y axis current. Now the slope of this chart will be del I, the change are del Y divided by del X. 
So the change in the current is indicated by I2 minus I1 divided by voltage V2 minus V1. If we consider this as a initial point and this is the final point then the slope of this chart will be equal to 2 and 2 is the value of conductance here. So the conductance here which is represented by MHO more are known as C1 also denoted by S. So the slope of this graph show here value of 2 so the conductance in here is 2. Now we can calculate the value of resistance using the value of conductance and resistance we know is equal to F conductance is G is equal to 1 over R solving this equation for the value of resistance we will get R is equal to 1 divided by G. So G is conductance and the value of conductance here is 2 we will have resistance R is equal to 1 divided by 2 dividing 1 by 2 we will get 0 0.5 ohm so the uh, resistance in this region is 0 0.5 ohm and uh, IV characteristics for thin film transistors for MOSFETs and for light bulbs and for uh, every material uh, indicates a different curve so any curve which is a straight line is ohmic and those that are not straight line uh, are non ohmic semiconductors that's it thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe easy video for more videos